Snoke's sinister and ominous throne room aboard his flagship, the Supremacy, was populated with those who were most loyal to the First Order's supreme leader. Most notably were Snoke's elite Praetorian Guard, who stood out in their red robes and armor and positions as bodyguards for Supreme Leader Snoke. But less visible upon first glance were Snoke's throne room attendants, typically found nestled beside the Supremacy's Oculus viewing scope. Unfortunately, we weren't provided with too much information regarding the attendants, but the Last Jedi Visual Dictionary included just enough to make them a very interesting addition to the throne room of the Supreme Leader. These attendants were an alien species who originated not from within the known galaxy like the remnant of the Empire who would give rise to the First Order, but from within the unknown regions of the galaxy. This is yet another potential connection pointing to Snoke's own origins being from within the unknown regions as well. The attendants were a mute species of alien who were most known for their skills in navigation, particularly through the unknown regions. This is no small feat and points to the skill of these attendants. The unknown regions was full of dangerous phenomenon, such as solar storms, rogue magnetospheres, black holes, and gravity wells, which made navigation through this region of the galaxy practically impossible. The Imperial Remnant was only able to travel into the unknown regions after years of dispatching probe droids to test the routes, and then use powerful ancient computers to generate a three-dimensional map of the unknown regions a program started by Palpatine during his reign. In fact, we learn in the Visual Dictionary that it was the ancient hyperspace trails created by these attendants that allowed the remnant of the Galactic Empire to survive when they fled into the Unknown Regions. Their skills for navigation was a direct result of their physical features. The attendants had enlarged brains that were capable of processing multi-dimensional calculations. It seems as though the attendants could perform the calculations themselves that were carried out by the Empire through computers. Although they also had naturally weak eyes, the attendants countered this deficit through the assistance of amplification lenses. Snoke utilized their skills for navigation for the direct benefit of the First Order. It was the attendants who both designed and operated the Oculus viewing scope within Snoke's throne room. At one point then, the attendants must have utilized the viewing scope to assist the First Order in their navigation throughout the Unknown Regions. Finally, it should be mentioned that the dark purple robes worn by the attendants was no accident and had a purpose for Snoke. Just as the Praetorian Guards wore red in an attempt to mirror Palpatine's Royal Guards and mirror the traditions of the Galactic Empire, the purple robes of the attendants was meant to carry out the same purpose. The purple robes were meant to evoke the royal hues that were worn by Palpatine's old Imperial advisors, representing yet another act by Snoke and the First Order to mirror the era of the Galactic Empire. But let me know what you think about Snoke's attendants and whether you believe their connection to the Unknown Regions is important to Snoke's origins in the comments section below. You can find us over on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, and if you enjoy our work, please think about supporting the channel through Patreon for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. Thank you for watching everyone, and as always, may the Force be with you.